This is a handheld recorder. This is a field mixer. Two devices that do similar things, but very differently. This video with a focus towards beginners will clarify the difference between a handheld recorder and a dedicated mixer. In our video example, we will be using the Zoom H6 and the sound devices Mix Pre 6. First and foremost, handheld recorders are highly portable. Characterized by their compact and lightweight design, they are great for on the go recording. They require zero accessories to be used and can be used handheld for both recording and mixing. Although if you were to use an additional shotgun microphone, mixing the audio on the fly with one hand may prove slightly difficult. Field mixers, on the other hand, with the front facing knobs and front facing gain display, need to be used in a sound bag for proper use. Or if capturing ambient field recordings statically, you'd have to at least attach the field mixer to a tripod. Both of these methods require further rigging and purchases. Handheld recorders are often the budget-friendly option, ideal for those starting their filmmaking journey and don't want to break the bank. Basic models can start from $80 and go up to around about $400 to $500, where field mixers can be relatively expensive due to their advanced features and capabilities. High-quality field mixers can range from hundreds to thousands of dollars depending on the brand and the features. As noted in the name, handheld recorders are set to record the sound without an additional microphone. They are more focused on capturing audio rather than mixing it. In the case of the Zoom H6, the one used in our example, it has a modular microphone setup. So this means that you can easily swap out microphone capsules to adapt to different recording scenarios, eliminating the need to carry around additional microphones as you would with a field mixer because of course they do not house microphones. When there is a need to capture multiple sources, while some field recorders like the Zoom H6 can do so, a dedicated field mixer will get the job done more proficiently with the numerous input and control options. They provide more advanced control over the audio being recorded, making them suitable for live mixing and complex recording setups. The user-friendly front-facing knobs simplify the adjustment process, allowing for quick and easy tweaking of the audio settings on the fly. While a handheld recorder like the Zoom H6 may offer basic level and gain controls, they are not designed for complex mixing tasks Again, especially if used handheld. And on the topic of recording audio, professional field mixers will also house advanced recording capabilities. Features like 32-bit float recording enable the capture of wider range of sound with incredible detail. And they also have the likes of time sync support, which is a must for high budget environments. But importantly, one of the standout features of the devices like a Mix Pre 6 is their superior sound quality thanks to top tier cashmere preamps that deliver exceptional sound clarity and reduce noise. A preamp will produce greater signal to noise ratio, meaning your audio will be cleaner in noisy situations. However, this does come with a price of power. Handheld recorders will typically use household batteries like AA. And while it is possible to use AA batteries in a field mixer, you won't last for that long, as they typically need to be powered by a larger battery unit or a power bank. So outside of this, where do we sit? With a field mixer, they're commonly used in film and video production, television broadcast, and live sound events. They are ideal for scenarios where multiple audio sources need to be mixed, controlled, recorded simultaneously at the highest quality. Handheld recorders are often used for field recording, interviews, podcasting, journalism, and other situations where portability and simplicity is the key. They are well suited for capturing high quality audio in a single compact package. The choice between them is gonna be dependent on your specific audio recording needs and the context in which we'll be using them. In regards to our advice, if you have just started your filmmaking journey and you're just looking to acquire a separate audio recording device, then I would perhaps stick with a handheld recorder for the time being and learn the basics with that before upgrading to a more expensive purchase. As most medium budgeted handheld recorders will have XLR inputs, it still allows you to attach a shotgun microphone if you're creating that type of content for a short film. So I have been Lewis with Fadivo and I'll catch you guys next time.